Hi, this is John Birmingham. Meatloaf, the singer, has died. Okay, we're going to check out some information about him online. Let's go. Meatloaf, he was 74. The cause of death is unknown, but it may be from natural causes because he was, when he was younger, he was kind of a partier and he was heavy. He was heavy. He, he died surrounded by family. <clears throat> New York Times article. Here he is, Meatloaf. He was on stage singing, partying. He was kind of like an operatic, um, Broadway almost, theatrical singer, theatrical musical singer, and actual recorded songs. And he played on stage and I thought he was cool when I was younger here and there when I when I watched him from the seventies. Those old, you know, older videos or whatever. Um from the 70s and it was pretty amazing watching him perform he was like confident cool he was like someone who I thought was really cool but I didn't ever buy his albums I don't know why but I I'd see videos of him and stuff sometimes and I was like wow that's amazing he was so confident and he ate food and was like heavy and he was really confident too and he he actually played football growing up and his father I think was an alcoholic and had like a kind of physical relationship where he'd hit him and stuff like that, but it wasn't, you know, he still loved him. His father still loved him. And then um, by some miracle, he made it in music. Maybe it had something to do with his father. You know, I'm sure it had something to do with who he became. So um, that's Meatloaf and he died. <clears throat> Oh, he was in the, he was in the theater in 1973 and 74. <clears throat> he was in the Rocky Horror Picture Show, Fight Club, and other films. So, he died of natural causes or something that they haven't said what, but it's, it's likely because, you know, he was heavier and getting older. He was 74, he's surrounded by family maybe some friends and this you know I, I don't know exactly what the cause of his death was it could have been from something else they have not said what caused his death This is some stuff about him. So that's it. He's died. Meatloaf. He's dead at 74. Wow. You know, when he died yesterday, um, I could feel really, I could, I could almost feel it. It was like really, really awful feeling. Something happened and I felt really awful. And maybe it's because he was into acting and singing and music, you know, like kind of um, musical film and and um, and singing. <clears throat> and I've done, you know, musical feature films, of course. Here's one of my movies, one of my feature films. Uh, and I also am a writer, director, and filmmaker. And I think there's something special about him because I felt awful yesterday. I felt like I was gonna die. I felt like I was gonna die. And I felt that I felt like I was about in my 70s. It's how I about felt, but like um, an unhealthy feeling too. And you know, it, it was awful. And it was the worst day I felt in, in, in I don't, since I don't know when, you know, 
and my mind was racing. I did this like 30 times <sighs> next to my head. 40, 50 times, and I had to 20, you know, but, but some of those times I had to pretend, like I visualize I wasn't killing myself. Like I gave up and I was like, <sighs> I did that. I don't know why, but imagine like a little ping pong ball, like a little white ping pong ball coming out of like a, something that looked like a, <laughs> I don't know what, but, but not hurting me that much. And that was, you know, by some miracle, I didn't visualize it shooting a bullet through my entire head or some awful thing like that. There was people who killed themselves and, and I barely made it. Every moment was like awful feeling last night and and it was it was really bad so I'm glad I feel better now I feel okay I made it I lived meatloaf didn't he died <sighs> let's say prayer a prayer for his family I hope to God they are okay I hope God's with them on earth to do God's work I hope meatloaf made it to heaven I hope you out there make it to heaven by doing God's work on earth, how God wants us to be, kindness to others, forgiving others when they trespass against us, and not being led into temptation, stuff like that. That's all talked about in the Bible, in the Bible. The Bible shows us how, how to be, how, how to be, how to live. It's the reality about how everything really is. It's in the Bible. So, okay, dear God, please be with us on earth to do your work. Don't let us worry about those anxiety words anymore again, or those things that bother us with our physical body, or the worries we have with the relationships in our life, in our lives. And I hope to God we live long enough to make it to heaven in, in for eternity in our second life our second life is is for eternity after we die meatloaf right now is resting he's asleep he finally is resting because he's dead and he's at peace and when we die we sleep and we await judgment day and we'll all be risen and awakened on judgment day to be judged and either go to the lake of fire for all eternity or to heaven for all eternity where there's no more bad no more sin and no more of the bad feeling and the suffering that that goes along with the sin nothing bad ever again it's more beautiful than we could ever imagine and there's so much love and acceptance from God and Jesus and the others who made it to heaven who really the love is is, is part of God because God breathed a, a soul into our bodies, into our physical bodies when he created our bodies from dust. He breathed the soul into our bodies. And so that's part of God. That's a little bit of God, each one of us. But we're individuals. We're individuals. So um, the real love comes from God and Jesus. You put God and Jesus first. This is reality. This is how things really are. It tells about it in the Bible. There's scientific proof for it in the Bible. God and Jesus are first. Then your wife or husband if you're married. And if you're not married, your parents. And after that, your parents, you honor your parents. But you also have to be a good father or mother if you have kids, which is kind of more important. Well, I think it's more important than honoring your parents if you have children already. I think that's how it is in the Bible. You can do more research on your own and really read and understand the Bible and know what it says and you'll know. Because Meatloaf's soul right now is is awaiting judgment. Like all of our souls will be judged on Judgment Day. So I hope to God he made it to heaven from his earthly works of good. <sighs> Meaning you don't want to do works that only have earthly value. You want value to God, the, the work you did on earth to have value to God. Amen. Meatloaf's gone. I I made it. I made it somehow, and I'm okay. Meatloaf didn't. He, he lived a long, amazing life. He probably had millions of dollars you know, or more. Um, 
you know, he he was one of the most successful musicians there was. And now he's gone. And what's really important is that he was kind to others on earth. And God will judge him and see how kind he was. And he'll make it to either heaven or the lake of fire. And we don't know where he's going to go, but God knows. God knows. Okay. Bye. This is John Birmingham. Bye. Bye. I'm feeling better today. Yesterday was awful feeling. A cat scratched me. Right. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to go. Bye. Check out more films and videos if you want. Here's my other movie, Rednecks. Yeah. Um, this is a musical feature film. The film wrote, directed, you know, produced, played the lead actor. Okay. Bye. John Birmingham. And Meatloaf. Where's he gonna go? Where do you think? He's dead. He's gone. All right. At, gone at 74. He, he died. But his soul will go on forever. And we hope to God it's in heaven. Like, we hope to God all of our souls are in heaven. So do God's work. And then... You'll be okay when you really did your best God's work. It's not easy. Okay, bye.